So hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be comparing these two tools. Uh, you probably all know what they're made for. Um, and you probably all know the weight, 571 grams versus 550. Um, both T-rated shafts, one is ice, um, meaning the pick is ice, whereas the other one is for uh, mixed. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be co covering some of the main uh, differences of the two and what I like about each of them, um, because I'm in this point where I can't really decide between the two. Um, but hopefully my thoughts will be um, helpful in, the, in your decision as well. Um, so first of all, looking at the quark, I see that the curvature is uh, much less. If you compare them side by side, um, you realize that um, the casin are actually much more curved down here in this part. And so maybe uh, that makes me think that, first of all, the um, the hit is going to be more natural in the ice, especially in those steep ices, um, ice waterfalls, whereas maybe for the Petzl Quarry, it's not going to be so uh, natural, you know, maybe it's not going to feel so, so nice. Um, it, generally speaking, I, I would say this one feels more natural to me, um, but again, it's just all... Uh, a matter of trying them out. Um, this one is significantly um, easier. So this handle is significantly easier to modulate, to, to, to move up and down in the pencil quark. Um, you know, you can basically do it within seconds and you can lock it wherever you want. Um, and also something that I like about the quarks is that you can actually move it um, down up till this point, sorry, up till this point. Oh my God, man, here it is. So up till this point where you can actually have your hand and the finger where it's supposed to go. Um, and it's actually of the size of your hand, more or less. For the Excel Mountain, um, there's a little bit more space over there, so it's not so, um, and, and you can you cannot pull this down more. Um, so that's something that I do not really like about the Exxon Mountain. Um, but something that the Exxon Mountain's uh, got, which is not there in the Petzl, is that you can basically, um, first of all, if you would want to, you could um, remove this, uh, this additional grip without the need for one of these. So you can actually just uh, turn this, like rotate it, and completely remove this, uh, whereas it's not possible to do uh, with the Petzl Quark. You do need one of these to fully remove it. So maybe if you're in the middle of the ascent and you really need to get rid of that, um, that's just a disadvantage of the Petzl Quark. Um, this one, you can move it all the way to the top and just lock it over there which I personally really like, and you can fully remove it. So in that sense, this one's better. Um, and yeah, um, generally speaking, um, also, uh, I would say the, the pencil quirk is more polyvalent. Um, first of all, what I do not like about this pick is that it comes automatically with the mixed, um, the mixed up pick, and therefore the mixed pick of casin is wider in this part. And when you grab it for those, um, you know, for those ascents where you, you might have to plunge it into the snow, it's not so comfortable to hold simply because you're going to be grabbing the blade, right, with your hands, and it's just wider. If you try the same with the pencil. It, it just has an amazing feel and it's it's basically made for that so um, plunging and probably um, self-arresting is maybe better uh, for this pencil quark um, what else of course the pencil quark has this um, um, option here which is not uh, available in the casin and for that you might have 
need uh, one of those um, things to uh, to remove it. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I can say about these these tools. Um, I would uh, personally prefer maybe the pet cell um, simply because um, of the comfort that it offers. Um, because the uh, blade is a, a nice blade and it's just thinner, it's more comfortable to hold when you're plung, plunge it, plunging it into the snow. Um, it's completely modular and I just, I don't know, man. Uh, I would say it's, it's more polyvalent, um, but if you really are into ice climbing and you really want to get a PLA, which is cheap, um, and it's really good for ice. Um, this is the best uh, version that I found. So I do recommend this PLA if you're looking for that. Um, maybe it's got a more um, consistent hit and it's more natural than the quark. If I just try it out. But again, it's just um, very hard to tell here. Um, yeah. I would say it definitely feels more natural. So I hope you liked the, the review of these uh, two uh, tools um, and hopefully you can um, decide for yourself on um, maybe what you want. Close a look up. Um, there you have the two. This one's got some teeth on the top. The, the petzl does not have these. Um, and also the um, the uh, hammer is actually bigger on the pet so if you're looking for um, hammering something you probably have more probability to hammer it properly with the pet cell than with the and with the cast in.